Hey guys, it's Chris Mitchell here, and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial about how to apply a decal to a 3D object in Rhino. Uh, I think sometimes they call them stickers, and uh, as you can see here, I've created a Boston round bottle. I'm, I'm looking at the render view right now. If you see this, if I go to the shade of view, it's just a nice little uh, Boston round that I've created. But I've done some cool things to basically add a little transparency to the cap and all that. And we're going to have to show you in the render view because you don't see the results just so that you know if you're working on a decal in a non-rendered view, in a shade of view, you don't see the results. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this in the render view. Now right here, uh, it's important to note that in the inspector panel right here is what you first see in Rhino. You can't do anything with a decal in the inspector panel. And I really don't know why uh, the folks at McNeil want to hide the properties panel, but it's hidden way over here. So what we want to do is first we want to go to the properties panel. And uh, then we can see our, uh, it shows you nothing until you click on this. But you can see the Boston Round and you that's all you get. So let's go ahead and click on, let's see, neither one of those. I don't want the extrusion. I want the, there we go, the poly surface. Because I'm going to apply that to the outside. Now, as you see, after I've clicked that, you get a bunch of objects up here in the properties panel. And this is the one that we're looking at. You can also do a displacement uh, if you want to add texture down the road. But right now we're going to go a decal. So let's go ahead and do a decal. Now I've already created this decal. This is for an actual product that we uh, that we make and sell. And uh, before I had photos of it, I needed to get a 3D rendering of it on the uh, the website and to make sure my sticker would fit the actual size of the bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and add this decal. And it's the uh, I've saved it as a ping file, as a PNG. And that is the actual uh, the artwork that I, that I sent to the press. And this is what we we're going to use to actually do. So I'm going to choose the cylindrical mapping style because it is a cylinder. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Now, if you notice, your text changed over here to base of a cylinder. So that's kind of confusing because it makes me want to say the base, the lower part, which you, you certainly can, but for all intents and purposes, I'm going to go ahead and start you from the top, and you'll see why I'm doing this. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the center, and I'm right there on that, uh, that, as you can see, I'm on this line right here, this uh, art. So I'm going to select center. And now under the radius, I could select, I know that this is a 0.9 radius, but I'm just going to go ahead and select that one again because, again, I'm exactly where I need to be. That is the radius. So I'm select that. And the end of the cylinder, you notice that I get this really weird warping thing if I'm sitting here trying to do that. And I could, I could really try to get this right, but honestly, it's just going to squeeze and pinch. So I want to constrain that vertically. In other words, when I drag and drop that, I just want that to follow the vertical constraints. Uh, now, I know the, the dimensions of this. The final dimensions are going to be 2.5, so I'm going to select something kind of close to that to where it looks like the text isn't warping. I'm going to click and let go. And now it's going to ask me to sweep it. So I'm going to go ahead and start here, uh, right there on that path. And I'm going to sweep this all the way around that, that cylinder. I'm going to let it go about right there. It's about, uh, about a quarter of an inch, which is what I have in the actual gap. And you can see that I've got my artwork. And it looks really good. Uh, it should be, my height is actually 2.5, so I'm going to change that a little bit. And you can see that it will change that when I uh, type that in manually, just by typing in the numbers into the field. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put about 1.7 right here. I'm going to change, you've got your X, Y, and Z position. And I'm going to change that about 1.7 because that's where it is in the bottle. And if you look at that, uh, let go, and that's what I've got. I've got a completely rendered uh, bottle. And of course, shows you my artwork. Uh, everything is exactly as it should be. This is uh, everything that... Uh, it uh, turned out to be in the actual print. And of course, I can export that if I want to, and it'll do a full res image of that. Look really great. So anyway, I hope this tutorial helped you, and I hope you guys have a great day.